Hello everybody and welcome to this He-Man Masters of the Universe toy pickup special made by Mattel in 1982. This fantastic toy line spans many years getting its own comic TV show as well from 1983 running to 1985. It spawned many remakes and even had a movie featuring Dolph Lundgren. So we're going to fire through this so you might have noticed on some of the figures if you pick them up. It was released in 1982 but a lot of the figures do say 1981. That's when they were originally made. So we'll fire through. We've got accessories, we've got figures, we've even got Castle Grayskull here to the side of me. So let's fire through and see what we managed to pick up. So starting off first we have Strider. So this is one of the horses. There were two very similar different colours. So this came complete with its tail and its helmet as well there. So this is Strider, which is the first accessory from our pickup. Next up is Roadmasters. So there were seven vehicles brought out in the He-Man Masters of the Universe toy line. This was the Road Ripper. We have two of these. So it does come with a pull string. So you pull it out and it runs along the floor. Next up is another Road Ripper, unfortunately without the pull string there. So that's another Road Ripper, normally with somebody like He-Man based in it. One from, actually I did have this in my childhood. So this is Battle Bones. So this does come, comes about that long and you can put the different figures along inside it and it does open up there. So that's Battle Bones. Really cool, that details for about £40. Uh, nice to get it complete with all its parts as well. And another. So this is Rotan. So this is another. This is for the bad. This is for the bad guys. It does come with two guns in front. So when you're picking it up, try and make sure everything's as complete as possible to maximise your profit. So that's Rotan. And then we'll get into some figures. First up, Skeletor complete. So he does have his chest plate armour there, he does have his little skirt there, he does have his staff and he does have his sword. So that's Skeletor complete there, he does with rubber head, so Skeletor complete. Next up is Skeletor incomplete, so he does have his chest armour there and he does have his sword. Again but he is missing his extra, his extra parts, there are various websites you can go on and find out all the parts that should go with the figures. I used He-Man.org and it shows you everything in the original packaging. All the items that should come with the figures. So that's why I helped to put most of these together. Next up is Jitsu. Jitsu is there. He does come with his long orange sword. Again, you'll notice him with his orange, uh, his golden fist. Jitsu there. Next up is another corn. So this is Cobra Khan. So he does come with his head, which can squirt out water, and he does come with his correct gun there. So the gun you're looking for is the red gun that looks like that. So that's Cobra Khan. Next up, another one of my favourites, and I had when I was a kid. So this is Grizzler. So he does come with his chest plate there, his armour, and the correct crossbow for him is the green crossbow. So that's him complete there in box. Um, good condition as well, make sure the that it's not any matting on his, his fluff there. So that's Grizzlot. Like I said again, I did pick this lot up because it does come with a lot of its original accessories, which really, really help the value and really help the collectability. So here we have Fisto. Again, Fisto does come with the purple sword there, the long purple sword, to make him complete. And it does come with his his silver fist as well and he does have his body armour which is great. Horak, technically not Masters of the Universe, I think he was the bad guy in she which was the spin-off. So he does come with his white crossbow and he has his body armour. To make him complete he did have a red cape and he had one other accessory I believe as well. But he does come with his crossbow there, Horak. The main bad guy in Shira. Next up is Triclops, complete as well. So to make him complete, he does come with his long green sword there, and he does have his body armor there, perfectly in place. 
you'll notice a lot of these figures they used or they used the same molds for the legs the arms and the chest the main part of the figure was basically the same mold just in different sometimes just in different colors so that is very noticeable on these figures a lot of time it's just the head that was different and too bad he did originally come with the shield so he has his punching his punching motion there fully working obviously he has two heads so slightly different from the rest of them two bad is one of the bad guys he is there Leech, another one that I had from my childhood. Leech, so he does come complete there with his his red his red crossbow there. So he did have a feature where you meant to stick him onto things. You push the button there, stick him on. So he's obviously one of the bad guys. Leech there, lower end of the figures. He retails at about ten pounds. Next up is Manny Faces, one of the most famous characters. From he man as well a lot of people will recognize him he does come with his correct gun so this is the correct gun for manny faces he's all there complete great figure perfect item so did you have any of these figures when you were a young gun is that something you collect now is masters do you have you revisited the more modern ones don't forget if you like this kind of content don't forget to subscribe Drop a comment down below, hit that like button and that notification for more up-to-date videos. So now that we have another accessory, we have the jet sled. So this was He-Man's, this belonged to He-Man. Unfortunately it is missing, it should have a blue rocket either side. This one is missing that, but it does come with a chest plate. That should come with the jet sled. So all there, fully functioning jet sled there and another fantastic accessory for He-Man. So, many of you know, He-Man's alter ego, when he was not He-Man, was Prince Adam. And we have a fantastic Prince Adam here, with the matching sword, the purpley, pinky sword. He does come with his vest there, and more importantly, his belt, which can often get lost. So, this is Prince Adam, He-Man's -He alter ego there. Great figure, and complete, which is great. Next up, we have Websock. So he does, unfortunately, he's missing a few pieces, but he does come with his gun, which matches the Websock. Again, I, most of this was taken from the He-Man fan website. But that's Websock there, obviously one of the bad guys from the He-Man franchise. Next up, Zord. So this is one of the ones I've never had before. So this comes with the... Sorceress, I believe it's one of her accessories. So this is Zor, so it's the eagle. So you're looking out for the stand, what this one comes with, the base of the stand, and I believe there should be some red armor that goes on top. That's the only part that's missing from that. There is an action on there, so if you press the button, the wings do flap upside down, flap about, so that, look out for that when you're looking at it. So you are looking for the stand. This retails at about 30 pounds. Next up, we have Mechanic complete. So again, Mechanic there, so he has the mechanism that moves his head up and down by twisting his body. He does come with the correct armor there, which is great to see. And Mechanic does come with a mallet or a club there. So that's the correct one there. So fantastic again to get him complete. Fantastic, brilliant pickup. Next up, we have Orko. So Orko's there. Orko is, I believe, missing one part. So he does come there with his hat, which is interchangeable. He does come with his pull string. I think he's missing some uh, yellow discs. So Orko's magic trick, I believe it's called. So there should be some yellow discs that come with him to make him complete. But again, fully functioning still. Drawstring or pull string is the main part that you're looking for, obviously, with the hat. So that's Orko. Another one from my childhood. This is Cyclone. So he does spin around. He is missing his shield. So he should come with a yellow shield to make him complete. Again, another great figure, great colours. He has like a hologrammy chest plate there. So make sure that's in good condition when you pick him up. He retails at about £10 without his shield incomplete. Next up is Skeletor. So they've made several variations of Skeletor and He-Man. So this is Dragon Blaster Skeletor. I believe there is a similar one in the He-Man. 
So he does come with the back there, so he does pump out water like a couple of the other ones do. That's part of his chest armor there. I think he's missing a few other accessories. I believe there should be a chain that goes across. So he retails at staggering of approximately £40 for this as is. So definitely one for to look out for. Like I said, it does come with his armor, which just shut out water. So that's the dragon, dragon blaster skeleton. Next up, we have some cats. So this is Panthor. So this is Panthor is Skeletor's battle cat. And um, so things you're looking out for with Panther is the saddle. Try and make sure you get the strap there as well if you're looking out for him. It, obviously, he is like a like a furry different. It's like a furry coating on top of him as well. So try and make sure that's in good condition. So you've got Battle Cat there with his saddle. The saddle alone sells for about 15, 20 quid. If you can get them together, we have this one up for 35. It's a really nice, great for displaying the, the figures in your collection as well. Next up, we have Robito. So Robito there, he does originally come with three accessories. So if you're looking for him complete, you want three accessories. This one comes with two. So this comes with the axe, the gun, and there is a claw that's missing. Again, moving about fully functional, great condition there. We have this up for £20. And would have been a little bit more, we've got the final missing piece, but two out of three is good. And that's Roberto. Next up is Stone Dark. So there were two similar two figures very similar. This is Stone Dark. So what you're really looking for to make this complete is this item there so that's like a satellite if you call it so that plugs into the front he does turn into the stone so there are two figures that were very very similar this is stone dark and don't forget if you're looking for him complete you have to get this item there we have him up for 25 quid again they're complete and in really nice condition he-man unfortunately i've got a couple of he-mans and they're all missing one accessory so He-Man, you're looking for the body armor, the battle armor. You're looking for this shield. This shield matches the He-Man. You've got the battle axe, but he is unfortunately missing his sword. There is a bit of damage on the body armor there, but in otherwise really good condition. Looking for about £35 on this one. If he, if he had his sword, you'd probably be pushing £40, maybe even £45. Trapjaw here. Unfortunately, he is missing a couple of his accessories. The trap jaw there, he does have accessories that plug into his arm. There is the gun. I believe there should be three altogether, possibly a claw or maybe an axe. So that trap jaw there, again, really great character. We're looking at £20 on this one. Nice and clean. Does have one of his weapons. If you had all of his accessories, we'd be asking a bit more. Next up is Battle Cat. So this is the nearly complete Battle Cat. So this comes with the top saddle there. He also comes with his mask. There should be a strap that goes around the body to keep that in place. Again, another really good piece for displaying your figures in the collection. He does come with his mask. We have him up for £25. Again, really good condition. Exactly the same mold as Panthor and I believe it was originally from a toy line called Big Jim. There is a fantastic TV show on Netflix called The Toys That Made Us. They do have a He-Man episode, so it's definitely worth checking out. It talks about the history of He-Man, how they came up with all the different characters, what they did with the toy line, and so on and so forth. It's definitely worth checking out on Netflix. And another battle cap there, this time just with his saddle. So he's missing his helmet again without his strap. We have this one up for 20 quid. Another great piece there. Next up, we have Moldalock. So this is a character that has loads of different pieces. Unfortunately, this one is not complete, but he does have his gun there. So he did come with a black two-handled gun. So this is one you can interchange into different, make it into different characters. You can make it into one figure, you can make it into two different figures. We have a lot of the pieces there, but we're missing a couple different legs. Like I said, again, I went on the fan website and looked up and it shows you exactly all the pieces it should come with. Again, one I had when I was a kid, and I don't think I had it complete either. But that's Mondor there. So we've got a couple pieces left. 
also we have a couple of accessories as well. So this is the staff from King Hiss. So this will go with the King Hiss figure. We don't have the figure, but we do have the staff. So that's the green staff there. It goes with King Hiss. Also, this is the blue sword and axe from the weapon pack. So Mattel released a separate set that was a weapon pack. It had about 12 different items in it. This is two of them. These are meant to be replacement items. It's the blue axe and the blue sword there. And this is some more items that came from the weapon pack there. So you've got the shield, you've got the mace, you've got the axe, you've got a couple of guns there. Like I said, there was a few other pieces. There was replacement parts for like Beastman and stuff. It came about 10 different items. So these are weapons from the weapons pack. Next up, another He-Man. We have another He-Man there again with his axe, with the shield, with the correct shield there. With his body armor in really nice condition. So you got this one up to £32. Again, shame he's missing his sword, but nearly complete. He can't carry all his weapons, so definitely got his axe there and his soot and his shield that really makes this figure pop. So we have one figure left, and then we have Castle Grayskull, what we'll get into. So next up, we have Man at Arms. So again, one that has a lot of accessories. So you should have his foot plate there. He should have his body armor chest plate there. He should have his arm and he should have his bat or his club there. So this one is complete. We have this up for 30 pounds. A really great figure. One I didn't have when I was younger. But definitely a great figure to add to anyone's master's collection. So next up we have, we'll look at this as well. So this is, all the figures came with these little mini comics. So it tells you a little bit about all the figures that are coming up. Tells you a little bit of a story inside there as well. There's like a little comic book. Basically to plug plug all the other figures as well. So this is for Skeletor's Dragon there. So all of them came with, that's the only one we have, unfortunately. Uh, all, so all the figures would have came with this little comic book as well. But next up, and last but no means least, we have the Castle Grayskull. So this does have its front door there. Unfortunately though, the clips are broken on the side, which is a real shame. So when you pick one up, always make sure that the clips are in good condition, which is a real shame because that would have clipped in there perfectly. And so it does look a little bit bare inside. There are a lot of accessories that go inside this. Like I said, when you're looking for one to pick up, stickers, you can get replacement sticker sets normally online. So that's the original sticker. The trap door there opens up which should be big enough for a figure to go through they did remake this they didn't make it originally and the door was not big enough for the figure to fit in but he does fit in there pretty easy just clears enough there so when you're looking for a castle gray skull there i can say there are a lot of accessories that go inside again the fan page is really great for seeing exactly what should be going in there but you're looking for a lot of this stuff so this holds the weapons on it so that comes originally from there you have the chair again this one i have is not complete but it does have a lot of the accessories that you need to be looking for stand there weapon stands both there and another stand there and then some of the weapons inside there as well another part of the stands another trap door and these are a lot of what you're looking for as well so these are the floors that go inside again you have trap door there with its original stickers so notice on the back that's the part there the mechanism that controls the door and another floor so these are really after you get the castle these are the next things you should look, be looking for then be looking for the orange accessories there is another thing, another couple of things here. There is another part of a door there so the figures can stand up. And there should be a, should be one of these as well. There should be a ladder that looks like this. So thank you very much for watching. What do you think of my massive Masters of the Universe mega haul? Like I said, there was loads of great figures with loads of accessories. Accessories are really key when you're picking up Master stuff. If you can get the... If you can get them complete, it really helps the sale. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget, like I said before, to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.